Now a handoff here to his running back. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. There's Wilson to throw. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off on the 37. And it's a huge return as he brings us all the way back down to the 15-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line him up in field. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. It was the safety blitz that ultimately did the job, and they're going to credit him with a sack. Behind the chain, second and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Tua, that is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle, there to make the grab. And the Dolphins are on the board here first in the season opener. Extra point and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From his end zone, it's Corey Ballantyne. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I should like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. From the 22, Wilson eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that is incomplete. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Wilson. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. A big kick that time, 52 yards, and it'll be Dolphin football. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. 
All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll run for the first time with Philip Lindsay. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They'll try and run for it with Lindsay. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Brandon, five yards on that run? Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in, and that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 37. But it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there, and this offense humming here in the early going. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down now, it's Lindsey. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Throw left side complete. That's Parker. And down inside the 15 he goes. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's a give to Lindsey, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. On the right side, open is Gasicki. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 
Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll run now with Gaskin. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, I know a defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited about what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Two and now, third and goal. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. John Franklin Myers in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. Sanders' kick is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, they took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Valentine opting not to return it, and his guys will have it at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And that is incomplete. Well, oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. So following the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 25. Wilson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a big play that time by the Jets. Well, he reminded us that he was a 1,000-yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. First and ten, it's Wilson. Buying time to his left. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Wilson he's going to let this go back of the end zone and this is going to be intercepted snags it for the pick 
And the Dolphins are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because, remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. Here's Gaskin. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. From just shy of midfield, Tua. And get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. This is Gaskin on the carry. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be caught? No, they say it's incomplete. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And oh no, it's incomplete. Well, it's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Ballantyne now from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United? And no, not, not quite of that level and not of that age. But I, remember, I was going for the age. Right? I remember looking over at him, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that uh, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there to have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. Now Wilson. Flushed out right. Here's a diving catch right side. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down spectacular catch turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Now Wilson on first down. Going down the middle and it's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 
thus far it hasn't been a real fun half for them but a play like that that may get them off the schneid a little bit get them loosened up and moving kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points and it's not always making an adjustment sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter you can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And yeah, that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again as well, sir. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Play action. Now Wilson. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Rohrwasser's kick is good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13-3. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? The wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. down Miami as they get set to start the drive and with a two score lead already they may just look to get this thing to the locker room meanwhile to his throw here taken in by Gesicki now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29 Play action, now it's Tua. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Good coverage on the outside, and I think that's where he wanted to check that down to. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. And the Jets are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. So they took their shot. It was a pretty good heave, but in the end, the free safety is the one who comes away with the football. And two of the traits that you look for in a good free safety, range and decision-making, both on display right there. And it didn't hurt that he's got a good pair of hands, too. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report.
Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang at Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll go again with Lindsey. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Now a handoff for Lindsey. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Here's Michael Pilardi now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Wilson. He's going to look deep for more. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be marked down deep on Miami's side of the field. It's a big play there for the Jets on third down. But I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely. And when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, getting close to the end zone, and you know that rookie wants the ball back. He's looking for his first career touchdown. He certainly is, and you just wonder with the coaching staff, is it trust in him this early? Are they trying to get him going, give him confidence early? That he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. 
with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Jets are able to make this a close game again. The extra point up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Benogany elects not to return it. The football will come out to the 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Room to run for Gaskin. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Here's Tua. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Touchdown, Dolphins! It's complete. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. On second and nine, Wilson looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Davis. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. Accepted for the third time thus far. Picked off Byron Jones. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD. It feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. 
Throw left side complete. That's Fuller. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Tua. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Escaping the pressure right. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 12, and he will return this one to the 30-yard line. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. They run the counter now on first down. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. They go play action now. Wilson. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. So just three yards on the completion there. And just like that, it's third down. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Wilson now to throw on third down. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. Flush to his right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of over... Touchdown! That's caught. Devontae Parker. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And Ballantyne going to sit on this one. That'll be a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of. And that's caught inside the 35. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. Big yardage that time for the Jets. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. 
And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Eluding the pressure right. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the foot. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Odell Beckham there to make the grab. And the Jets have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. Kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Big Benogany elects not to return it. The football will come out to the 25-yard line. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Touchdown, Dolphins! It's complete. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Valentine opting not to return it, and his guys will have it at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes inbounds there. Big yardage that time for the Jets. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime... Uh and now here is another interception. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins will take over here just shy of the 30. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. 
Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Oh, and two are going to be intercepted for the third time. He's picked off near his own 48. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. A great pick. Nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. Out to his left. This is caught. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. So he rolls out of the pocket left, just ends up finding a safety valve, but no gain there. No gain, but it looked like they were well coached on the play because he still went through his progressions, and the receivers know that when the quarterback exits the pocket, they have to find routes to run now to get into his sight lines and try and help him out. End up throwing it short to the running back. Give the defense credit for not giving up any yardage. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes... And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Justin Rohrwasser now for the PAT. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Makes the score Dolphins 34, Jets 24. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Igbenogany elects not to return. The football will come out to the 25-yard line. down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they, th if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Tua sets up to pass it. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. He's going to go up top again. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 14. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly down two scores. He's going to look deep for more. And this is caught on the sideline. Are the feet in? They are. What a catch. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. 
Now he'll escape to his right. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off down near the five. And he is all the way up past the 25. He got outside the pocket there trying to improvise. And he was calling for the ball downfield, but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball thinking that he was open. But I think the quarterback spotted him too late. And that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. He'll get this out wide to Gaskin. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Looks like he'll throw here. He's going to air one out. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off inside the five. And the Jets are right back in this football game. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ballgame, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Wilson to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Now you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Wilson. Flushed out right. And he's gonna get this down near the 30 yard line. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Jets. 
So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. So a victory here for the Miami.